Hello there, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5, and it's that time again. It's time to finish off all of the rest of the points that we need for the second prize of the season. Starting off with an Event Lab race, last one of those that we've got to do, so this will be another three points once we finish this, if we can win, which we... Ah, uh, well, we're pretty well positioned to do right now. <laughs> Say. Oh, they've even boarded over the... Ooh, that, okay, it didn't turn very well there for some reason. They've boarded over the water traps. That's the bit that I'm usually worried about in these races. But being an event lab race, they've taken a normal track and made some modifications so you can't go careening off the side. They've got some barriers up. And it turns out that they've uh, paved over the water, so result really it's a one out of one laps but it's a very long lap i would have rather that it was a point to point in some ways so i could tell how far through i was but failing that uh would it be nice if it was more than one lap otherwise because it, it's nice to learn a track and then get a chance to do better the second time through Ooh, crunch that oh, wasn't as bad as i thought got the Pokemon themed Hoonigan back again uh, it's a rally monster category and it was that or the Ford that we really didn't do very well on finishing things off last week and after this we've got a couple of PR challenges still to do just speed traps I think speed trap speed zone and two more seasonal championships and that should be the points that we need especially since that there's some daily challenges that we're likely to just pick up along the way I suspect. I think there was a few skill based ones that sometimes just happen. <laughs> I got one straight away from my daily wheel spin that I get from owning the castle uh, because one of the daily challenges was just redeem a wheel spin and that's usually pretty easy to come by. Especially when that's sometimes the reward from doing one of the PR challenges, so we would have gotten that one way or another. What's with the pot plants? Randomly on the corner. Who knows? <laughs> so we're on track to knock this season out oof, without too much hassle. As, as, as easily as we knock out our skill combos to prevent us from actually banking anything. The multiplier in this car just immediately hits maximum, pretty much. Uh, because of the skill points that I've invested in this car. I think I've invested pretty much everything. I might be missing the 25 point skill that gives you two chances. When you hit something, it won't immediately lose your combo. You get another chance, get a second life, basically. But other than that... The multiplier only goes to 5, but it builds super fast. Sometimes you get skills where the multiplier will be able to go up to 6 or 7. I think even 8 in one case. But it takes a while to get there sometimes, whereas this, I think the multiplier builds like 3 times as fast or something it's crazy like that. We'll find out when we get the interface back again. Oh, it's already at 5. Okay, I won't get to find out how quickly it builds because by the time it reappears, we're already at maximum. This thing does not want to call you. We definitely don't have the second chance thing available. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going too fast. And I thought I'd upgraded the brakes. And this has off-road tyres. But, okay, well, I, I can't brake when I'm in the middle of the air. So that certainly doesn't help. I'll get a lumberjack skill there. Oh, it didn't give me a lumberjack. That's weird. Oh, they love having the corners straight after jumps. <laughs> and I don't. I'm almost at the finish line now, so that's a very long lap. It's like four minutes, almost five minutes for a lap. Honestly, that's kind of cool. I like that. I, I do like this track that they've put together. Props to them for doing something a little bit different and extending it out. Next time, do like three laps worth. <laughs> On to the next championship, and we get to use our super again, the one that we have souped up for a previous series. So that's good, it means we've got something that's tuned, not going very fast off the line as always, but 
I'll rate my ability to get around these corners well when I can get through uh, and uh, work my way through the field over three laps. I also realized starting this championship that I think I've done things a little bit backwards or suboptimally for the season without realizing the prize for completing this championship is the very Nissan GTR that we need for the uh, PR challenges. Whereas I already had one that at least qualified, I don't know if it's exactly the same one, but it qualified for it. And I souped it up and painted it and everything, <laughs> and turns out I was going to win one anyway. But never mind. It does mean that after this championship we can move on and do those with that car again. And then we'll have one final championship to do, which I'm not sure what sort of car I need. Unfortunately, there's not much double ups in terms of car requirements, like the rally monster that we were just using, we weren't able to use for pretty much anything else. I much prefer it when a season does have more of a homogenous theme to it, like the turns out the GTR actually is. But it's also nice to have a bit of variety. It's a tricky balance, I get that. Just too many one-offs is kind of annoying. Well, we're in the lead now, so now we just need to hold it together. Let's see if we can do some clean racing. Means that we might over-brake for some of these corners. But I'd rather that than go into the wall. Just for a change, you know. Just, just mixing it up. <laughs> <laughs> trying to race a little bit more properly. See if we can best our lap times as well. That's the thing, is you can set your own challenges for this. Like If you prefer, you can set the AI difficulty way up. And just race against like unbeatable level AI all the time. If you like to have that sort of challenge. I personally really don't like all of the bumper cars that comes with having more difficult AI if they're right around you all the time. There's just so much combative racing. I much prefer to just be more in charge of my own destiny. It's like if I make a mistake and fall behind then that's on me. If I get blocked and am not able to overtake or like sideswiped because I'm breaking for a corner <laughs> then that's not as much fun. So I tend to have the AI tuned to the difficulty that I need to, highly skilled, in order to get all of the rewards for when doing these festival playlist events. And then it's just finding personal challenges like beating your lap times, doing clean races. It's always very satisfying. Best? Ooh, not quite. Not quite best. Less than half a second off. And we're back on the Vulcan Sprint, doing the hill climb again. Wasn't it just last episode that we did this in the S2000, or was that last week? I can't remember. Either way, maybe we could have economised even further. I'm not sure whether or not the S2000 counts as an upgrade hero category car, which is what this required. I'm not sure what even constitutes an upgrade hero car. It's a very niche sort of category, it seems, and very subjective, I feel. It's just cars that people like to mod, then I'm surprised that the GTR that I did use wasn't on the list. But uh, it wasn't available for me to select for this one. I was really looking forward to using the car that I won to win. That's always fun. <laughs> this is what I was just talking about in terms of the AI and just having that bumper car racing not being quite as fun. Because it just means that whoever is in the lead just gets to break out even further into the lead because everyone else is blocking them. It's not a great feeling, but we'll hunt them down now. We'll try to at least. I mean, we can make do with not winning every single race. It's pretty much a case if you've got to... You have to win at least one, generally. Preferably two. Either do a first and get away with a couple of seconds, so long as someone else is winning each of those races. It can't be the same person winning both. 
or if you get two firsts then you can just get third on the other one and you're fine. I always misjudge how to go around that corner. I end up accelerating far too much and having to just brake again, which is not ideal. Let's just skid through that one. The track is a bit greasy, which is affecting things somewhat. I think this is still just a rear wheel drive car, not all wheel drive. And I'm not even sure how upgraded the wheels are either, the tyres rather. They're not off road tyres, I'm fairly sure at least. They, they would be slippering. Actually, no, that'd probably be fine on a uh, greasy track, come to think of it. They usually slip around on a road surface, but a wet road surface, an off-road tyre, would probably be alright. Not sure. But now we can break out and go through here. This section always reminds me a little bit of uh, one of the Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit tracks back in the day. The original, not the remake. I haven't played the remake. I played a lot of Hot Pursuit 2 back when they actually did numbers at the end to signify a sequel. I'm not sure why they didn't do Hot Pursuit 3, probably because they knew that no one playing the rebooted Hot Pursuit had probably played the first one. <laughs> I think it's a bit rude. <laughs> Some of us are still playing computer games, even though we're old now. And speaking of reminders of older games, <laughs> this one's also quite reminiscent of uh, Track and Hot Pursuit. Uh, Rocky Pass, I think it was called. And we're back in the rain, which is, hmm, tricky. But everyone else has to contend with the same thing, so you just got to hope that the factors are applied equally. So far managing to avoid the walls, which is nice. I always take a very different line through that last corner than the AI. I'm not sure what it is, but... Crunch. Not enough to kill the combo. And I know I should probably be following the line that they take, but just sometimes I'll take a different line that feels more comfortable for me. We'll just have a different runoff or something. And I'll end up overtaking them a lot, so I can't help but feel that I'm fine doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Who knows? Ooh, bit of a skid there. Gotta be careful with the acceleration out of the corner. Hey, got a show-off skill though for drifting while passing someone, so that's always nice. <laughs> building up a huge combo have we we kept this going the whole race so far i think we have it's bound to there we go i was gonna say it's, uh, six nine, nice. it's bound to bank at some point i will sometimes challenge myself to keep a combo going for an entire race but it's pretty tough because you've usually got to work in drift skills i guess if you stagger your overtakes if you stay behind people purposefully until near the end ah messed up the corner that's a shame. Oh, we were doing so well on the clean racing front too. Never mind. If you stagger your overtakes and leave the final overtakes until the final <laughs> one, three, three, seven, then you can make do of drafting skills and pass. You can even tactically like pass an opponent and then have them overtake you again, so that you can rack up more drafting skills. But otherwise, you've got to interweave drifts a lot of the time because speed skills don't uh, tick up enough between speed and clean racing there's still too many gaps and it won't continue the combo especially since the you know ultimate speed if you get up ultimate speed uh, then that renews quick enough that you can sustain an ultimate speed combo just by itself but that doesn't happen in races speed and great speed and stuff don't rack up fast enough and the clean racing isn't frequent enough to fill in the gaps so you've, you've got to get some drift in as well which we have been doing because it's wet and across the line because <laughs> we can ah uh, fun
And we're back in our GTR. Not the one we just won, <laughs> but the one that we had already upgraded for the previous speed check. We'll turn around real quick and head up towards the speed zone. We've got to get over 195, 196 I think. So we'll see if we can take this corner well. Nope, not very well at all. Uh, let's try and accelerate. <laughs> Because we want to enter the speed zone with a decent amount of speed first, because we know we're going to scrub some off coming through the zone itself. Oh, that's right. I wasn't able to upgrade the tires. Is that enough to cancel? No. Okay, now we've really got to accelerate out. We're probably going to be better off coming back from the other direction, possibly getting a run up just across the desert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to have to do a lot better than that. 12k an hour more. Let's just go all the way over here and turn around and just do a big run up across the desert. We should probably do a run up on the road to start with, but then we've got real sharp corners straight afterwards, so I think we're just better off doing this. We're going to have a really sharp corner straight after that we enter the speed zone though, which is awkward. But we start off with a hiss and a roar. And now immediately have to brake hard so that we don't go careening off the road. But we've got, still got a pretty high speed going through here. We're just going to keep this average up. But then this corner is what really kills us. And now our average is not enough. No. Yes? Oh, was it only 194? Ah, okay. Good. <laughs> I thought it was 196 for some reason. Whew. Just... And sure enough, we get a super wheel spin from that. Let's see what we can get. 100k, 30k, 230k, not bad. So that would have given us a daily challenge if we hadn't already unlocked it. Now we need to get something like 270k's an hour through the speed trap. So hopefully I tuned this thing up enough. Again, we weren't able to do tires but we've only got a small corner here okay that's good that's good but then it's uphill we're holding our speed though nice perfect there's our speed traps done season objective complete another wheel spin another super wheel spin anything good a checkered sundress stylish well unfortunately we're not in our gtr for any longer we're back in our classic BMW for a series of street races that take us to three different corners of the map, <laughs> essentially. Which is fine. I don't mind seeing a bit more of the map. I would prefer generally that a championship is based within the same locale. It's always nice when the start of the next race is basically near the end of the previous one. And then you can just have different championships set in different parts of the map, so you still get a good cross-section throughout the season. But, either way. Now we do have this BMW tuned up from an earlier season, I think from the Retro Wave series. Might have been. I think it's tuned more for speed than anything else. I was really hoping to push him into traffic there. So that means we actually have to do better on these corners than we are, which is concerning given the fact that this guy in front of us especially seems to be fast and good at corners, which is a particularly unfair combination. We'll see how well we can do through these bins here. We've got this roundabout, which we want to break reasonably well for. Miss the barrier, ideally, is the main thing there. Seems he didn't do too well through that latter half of that, so we've caught up a little bit. Now this is a D rating, I think. D e or no, C rating. C rating, so it's the yellow. Which generally means that you can't upgrade your tires. <laughs> we've made some improvements to our steering and uh, suspension, I suspect. But we won't have been able to make many power upgrades or tire upgrades. So that's why we're sliding around quite a lot. <laughs> Trying to keep the power down. Traction control is doing a bit of overtime while we're in this car. 
faction control that probably would not have existed at the time I think we established, but never mind. Thankfully we get mod cons even if the car is not modern. <laughs> Hold it together through here. Got a really tight bend up head. You have to go go well through this corner, and then you basically need just need to keep braking, and then focus more about coming out of this one well, which I I overturned a little bit there, and ended up just pushing it into a bit of a drift. Which you want to avoid generally. Uh, much as the Need for Speed games might make you think otherwise, drifting is not the best way to go around a corner. Certainly not the fastest, it might be the most visually pleasing, <laughs> but not usually the fastest. Okay, well, we've managed to hold off. Not as much of a lead as I would have liked against the opponents, but a win's a win. Let's see if we can do it a bit better this time. Oh, we've got someone in exactly the same car next to us, that's funny. Let's see what the tuning differences are like. We do have that lovely convertible that someone else is racing with, but I think I need to do a lot of work with that to make it competitive. Those nice old American convertibles look gorgeous, but oh boy, they do not like corners. And while it's a street race, not a circuit race, we do still have a lot of corners to contend with. Exhibit A, coming right up here. This is a tight one too, so we need a break before the crest, ideally. And still go off a bit. But hold it together well enough to stay in front. I have stiffened suspension up a little bit more since the last race and I checked the tyre pressures and they were a little bit lower than I would like for what's pretty dry conditions. I think we might have been racing this in the rain last or something, not sure. Or maybe a loose surface. Probably won't make much difference quite frankly but hey, I'll take anything that I can, just in case it helps with the grip. It's mostly the braking performance that I really need. Tightening the suspension will hopefully help a bit with the cornering. It was just a little bit too wallowy, just a little bit too much lean. I think the ride height's probably also far too high for just standard racing. I suspect that we might have been doing some dirt racing last time, but who knows? We've certainly opened up a bit more of a lead this time, so far, so long as we can hold it together through this corner section. Part of that is probably just becoming more used to the car again, because <laughs> it has been a while. And obviously different tracks, suit better cars, suit different cars better rather, and this one is definitely better at just the straight line speed I think rather than the corners. Another sharp bend up here let's try and break through this probably break too hard as is often what I end up doing when I'm that far ahead because I know that I can <laughs> but it's safer overall than going off into a farmer's field somewhere. That was pretty uneventful. All in all that's three minutes that went by very quickly. Let's hope this one goes just as quickly, and just as well. <laughs> so we start in the rocky part of the desert and work our way past the festival site and down to the coast. This dude is weaving around just trying to get past. Yep, I empathise with that. <laughs> It's interesting that they seem to weave around a lot trying to pass, but then don't drive as defensively as you'd expect. They don't really block you until you get to a corner. Then they'll block everything. Down towards the festival lights. Interesting that we turn off before we actually hit 
the main festival though i guess this is the street racing so we're not supposed to be like officially part of the festival which i still think is just a kind of stupid thematic theme thing on the game's part and would much prefer that street racers never had traffic involved or anything like that but whatever Otherwise you'd really expect to just blast through the festival and down the runway or something. Not sure if any tracks actually do do that. If any do, it'll be some of the cross-country ones probably. That was not a good corner. Let's hold it together through here. I think the AI also didn't do it perfectly, that's for sure. Otherwise I'd have really been in for it. Oh, okay, I often get confused with the side of the road that the, I expect that the um, cars are going to be on. It doesn't help jumping between Horizon 4 and Horizon 5, because of course in Horizon 4 it's set in Scotland, where they drive on the left, same as we do here, where I live. And then you jump into 5 and everyone's driving on the right. <laughs> So it's a little bit uh, disconcerting sometimes. It's just one of those things you've got to be in the game and uh, adapt quickly when jumping between different titles. So I have been doing four again. I do need to get my act together and get myself qualified for the playlist in preparation for, well, tomorrow so we'll see how that goes <laughs> might be a dual upload today not the best corner there but not the worst we're managing to hold off so there's one guy there's always one it's just hanging on right on our tail but this bit through here is usually pretty straightforward. We've got one tricky little corner section here where I am often liable to run wide, hit the rocks, and then slow down. So let's not do that this time. Perfect. That will be the championship done. Sure enough, that is the summer season, the wet season, done. And we get a Ferrari Dino. Hard to find. Fantastic. And we didn't have to do the Horizon Tour or the mini games after all. I was expecting to have to do the Rivals, but we picked up enough of the daily challenges, kind of accidentally while doing other things, in order to avoid that. So we haven't had to do any multiplayer stuff either with the Eliminator. Looking forward to Autumn, we have a VW SB2 and an MRE 356. So is that a custom tune Porsche perhaps? That sounds pretty nice. Own and drive the CC8S. Oof, with only six ever built. Well, how are we expected to own one then? But never mind. <laughs> in an ultimate burnout skill at the coffee shop. Okay, so we're going to have to interact. Well, not have to. We're going to be able to interact with it if we really want to. Um, but only one of the daily challenges. I feel that for a themed series, they should really have more of the daily challenges themed around that particular thing. Or have more things that are actually in the seasonal championships or uh, PR challenges perhaps. Uh, or photo challenges. Why are we not taking a photo there for example? Either way that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.